at least 10.5 million children lack access to safe and quality education. This is the case of children residing in the New Jerusalem Ogoni settlement situated at Umebule 2 in a chair local government area of River State, with over 600 children of school age that have never seen the four worlds of education. Lily, through through this place, we are living in darkness. So we're living here with bad boys, with some of cottages, because here is near water. After this place, it's water. So we are living here, and bad boys always trouble us, and we are not having money to put our children like I. I have three children. I don't even put any of them for school because I have no money. The condition I came to meet this place was too bad. The thing is that children have not been go going to school. Unlike me, I was saying if I have the opportunity, I will send some of them to the school, but I couldn't. By the special grace of God, God brought our daddy here, that our daddy come and build this school for us, for our children. So I really appreciate God that at least many children, they have not been going to school. People, they have up to seven children, eight children, none of them have been going to school. But by the special grace of God, as daddy have helped us and build this school, this school now, they will all go to school in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Amen. When you look around the environment, you see an environment just feed up all people. There's nothing moving. We'll be survived by sand digging. We'll be survived by fufu makers. We'll be survived by all these liberal jobs. Water leave makers. Water leave makers. We drink water from the all river. river. Even the water from the river. from the river that is already polluted before that is not coming. So now that we are we have we have come to this point, we are happy. We are happy. Maybe this is how God wanted to remember us. We thank God for everything. Don't give him money. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Came here, no school, no tutu, no water. The day Apostle Chibuzo came here, he saw a child with a torn pieces nickel on his waist. Apostle Chibuzo carried that little child to the boutique and bought clothes for him. Since that day, Apostle Chibuzo commissioned started school in this village. And since then, the old villagers, children and everybody, have been we're happy that yes, they will not go to school. Nobody in this community that is able to send a child to even the lowest school. No child, no children go to school in this community. The lowest. Our first school came around 10, 11, 12, where children so were supposed to be in the school. Or our first school saw so children. He shed tears. He had compassion and pity. And established school in this community. The 18 year old's redemption, Pepper, and her little sister, Love It, are orphans. Their parents were said to have died while fasting for 21 days and their body decomposed in the rooms where the children lived. It was traumatic. It was hard looking, but I resolved. Me and my sister resolved to go through it and come out. The visit of the OPM general overseer to the scene of the incident changed the story of this community for good. This is Ogoni camp. Yes, sir. And, uh, because these two beautiful children, God has remembered this community Amen. and brought water and school. Amen. Amen. So today, I dedicate this to the name of the Father Amen. and of the Son Amen. and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Dr. Maureen Chuku is the welfare director of OPM. She speaks further on the modalities for admission into the school. They will start by two letter words, three letter words, know how to read blanks, and before we send them. And I tell you, we are using our phonics teachers, so we've got it all. It's, it did not promise one year back, it promised just a few months back, within the pandemic. Mobilize people to set to put up this building for a school in a place where nobody could reach. My brother, what story you want me to tell? Apart from the free education, the community lacked portable water and healthcare facilities. Water has been provided with free hospital on the way. Apostle Chibuzo Chinyere urged the benefiting community to ensure security of these facilities for sustainability. From Umebule 2, a chair local government.